Next, we are going to talk about another loop which is called precondition loop. We also call it while, do, and while. Now, in this loop, this loop we used uh, when there is a certain condition. In this loop, we do not know how many times loop is going to be repeated. Uh, the loop is started. So this is a mistake over here. So I'm writing, I'm the, writing the correct uh, thing. Loop is started when condition is true. So in this one, loop is started when the condition is true. The condition is checked at the start of the loop. So in this loop, condition is checked at the beginning. If condition is true, program goes in the loop. If condition is not true, it goes, it skips the loop, it goes out of the loop. In, in while do end while, or we uh, call it precondition loop, in uh, this kind of a loop, uh, loop may never run. Loop can run many times. We do not know how many times loop will run or repeat, but there is a possibility that loop may never repeat and there is a possibility that loop repeats multiple times. Now let's see uh, the code of this, the pseudocode declare marks. So we created a variable with the declare command marks is the variable where user can input anything. So marks is a variable where user can input any value. The prompt statement enter your marks to see your grade. User is going to input marks. So user can input any marks to input its uh, to see its grade. Now there is a loop. It says while marks are less than zero or marks are greater than 100. If the condition is true, if user inputs something which is more than 100 or less than zero. In this case, if user inputs uh, marks more than 100 or if user inputs anything less than zero, it will display error, re-input zero to 100 and input marks again and while. So this loop will only work in case if user inputs something above 100 or less than let's suppose user inputs 500 initially so it will do what it will display an error uh, and it will ask user to re-input then because we were checking uh, we were checking the marks we have applied a case statement case of marks if user has input something above five, uh, sorry, user have input something uh, which is within the limit and it uh, skips, if it is 500 loop will repeat, it will say error, re-input and asks the user to input again in the marks. Now user has, let's suppose input uh, number within the range, if the number is 90, it will display this line, it will display uh, output A star. If the user has input something uh, 80 or more than 80 but not 90, it will display grade A. If user has input something above 70 or equals to 70, it will display B. If user has input 60 or uh, equals to 60 or above 60, it will display C. If 50 or equals to 50 or greater than 50, it will display D. If uh, greater than equal to 40, it will display E. Otherwise, anything below 40, it will display U and the case statement will end. For example, let's see the output screen. So over here, let's let's suppose uh, user has an, uh, said enter your marks to see your grade and user has input 500. Now you can see this line will be printed error re-enter between 0 to 100. Next time user has, because this thing, uh, the loop has this started because uh, condition was true user has input something above 100. Now it said error re-input and it asked user to input again in the marks variable. Now next time user has input this value which is 90, next time user has input 90. So it checks from the case statements and this condition was true so it displayed grade A star. If you want to see uh, the visual basics code of the same program, the same thing dim marks as integer this is the declaration command console dot right line is the output enter your marks to see your grade marks is equal to console dot read line this is the input while is the condition same like uh, we have entered in uh, pseudocode while marks are greater than 100 or marks are less than 0 if yes condition gets true 
error, re-enter your marks between 0 to 100 and it will ask user to input again. If user inputs, first time user inputs something which is uh, you know 90 or 70, the loop will be skipped and the program will move directly to the case statement. If user does something which is uh, you know above 100 or less than 0, then only while loop will work. So uh, if this thing, uh, if we run this code, case statements works the same way, case select case marks, case is equal to greater than equal to 90, then A star, case greater than equal to 80, then A, uh, case greater than equal to 70, then B, case greater than equal to, uh, sorry, this is uh, 60, then C, case greater than equal to uh, 50, then D, case greater than equal to 40, then E, otherwise below 40, it is U. Let's uh, see if user enters 500 first time, it displays error. If user inputs 90, it will display A star. The same thing that we have seen in the pseudocode. We are looking at another program of while loop. For example, precondition loop, loop may run unlimited number of times. User keeps on, uh, you know, making the condition true, it keeps on working. Or loop may never run. Let's, let's see another pseudocode. In this pseudocode, begins with the begin statement. Declare lucky num as integer. So there is a lucky number that user is declaring. The data type is integer. Declare lucky number as integer. Output is a lottery program. And this is a prompt for the user. Please input your lucky number for lottery and input lucky number. While lucky number is not equal to triple five, whatever user enter, if it is not equal to triple five, and the condition gets true, then you uh, the program says, sorry, you lost, better luck next time, and asks user to input lucky number again, and while. So if user inputs anything which is not triple five, loop will work. It will say, sorry, you lost, better luck next time. But if user inputs triple five, then this condition will not be true, and the loop will be uh, not uh, repeated, and the program will come out of the loop, and it'll say, output you won lottery by entering triple five and the program will end. Now let's see what is going to be the output for this uh, lottery program output is written. Please input your lucky number to, for, for the lottery user input first time 786 because 786 was not equal to triple five. So the condition got true and the loop started with this statement. Sorry, you lost better luck next time and uh, input again. So user inputted 911, again, sorry you lost, better luck next time. User input 666, it says sorry you lost, better luck next time. User input 555, and now 555 is basically the number which made the loop statement uh, not work, means that uh, the, the statement is not true in this case because 555 is entered and 555 is uh, not this condition. So the loop went out of the loop, the program went out of the loop and it said output, you won the lottery by entering triple five, which is written over here. If in case by mistake, you have not taken another uh, input, you've only uh, written output, sorry, you lost and you have not asked user to take input again. Then because user has input something in the lucky number which is not equal to triple five, the program is going to be uh, display, program will display sorry you lost, sorry you lost, sorry you lost, unlimited number keeps on doing that. So this is uh, must, there must be an input statement over here to avoid such an error. So input and lucky number is the variable where input goes must be there. Same VB program named lucky number as integer declaration of the lucky number console dot right line is the output statement. We have already talked about it console dot output input lucky number. Uh, lucky number is inputted. Uh, lucky number is equal to console dot read line. This is the input statement. While lucky number is not equal to triple five. So you can see exactly line by line it is relating to the pseudocode. Uh, console or write line, sorry you lost better luck next time. Lucky number is equal to console or read line. This is input again. 
of the of the variable and while uh, if lucky if user has input uh, for example triple five then it will it will go out of the loop and it will come directly over here so you won the lottery by entering triple five and if you run this code same thing that we have just talked about the same program is going to be giving the answer for example first time you have input 786 it said it 786 because 786 is not equal to triple five 786 is not equal to triple five not equal to sign we know that this is the not equals to sign so it is not equal to so the condition is true and the loop will run so it it wrote sorry better luck next time again user has entered this number it is also again loop is going to be used then we have entered triple six again triple six six not equal to triple five so loop will work then we have entered triple five now trip, this condition is false now so it went out of the loop and it displayed this line so file while loop flowcharts can be like this start of the program input lucky number while lucky number is not equal to triple five now uh, in uh, flowcharts for loops or for conditional statement we use the same one uh, symbol which is the decision symbol uh, so decision symbol is used if yes lucky number is not equal to triple five it'll say so you lost try again and it'll take you back to the input again so in flowchart program will return back into the uh, input again if it is no means lucky number is you have entered triple five it'll say output you won and the program will stop okay. please subscribe my youtube channel which is majid tahir you'll find that on youtube at majid tahir 61 subscribe this channel for complete a level coverage videos i'll be posting all the videos of my a levels chapters whatever i will cover i'll make videos of these chapters and i'll upload them on youtube so stay connected and please subscribe thank you so much have a good day allah hafiz